Hello and welcome to Digital Romance TV. I am Alana Pratt and today we're going to talk about, ladies, the mistakes we make. Yes, sometimes we do. And uh, I'm at the beautiful Palm Springs JW Marriott Resort and uh, I'm an intimacy expert and even though I have a lot to teach, I also have a lot to learn and I was just at a pole dancing conference with the amazing Sheila Kelly. Um, I've been reading a lot about some other teachers and it, it all seems to come down to five main mistakes that we unknowingly make um, that really separate us from these incredible men that we want to have this intimacy with. And the first one is sort of like if we, if we let him know he makes us happy, we somehow think we're giving away our power, but it's the very thing that he craves the most to bring us pleasure and to make us happy. And so I want you to be generous with your expression that he makes you happy. Let him win. You know, I know we can run a business and, and take care of the kids and, you know, make dinner all simultaneously. I know how amazing a lot of us women are. And to let a man know that he somehow contributed to us sometimes feels like we lost or we are weak. Farthest thing from the truth. It's what really attracts them to us, knowing they can win with us and make us happy. So please express your happiness to these guys. Number two. Um, you know how men like to fix things and how they want to be our heroes and save us from these various things? Sometimes as women I think we make the mistake of thinking we need to be a victim or need to be the damsel in distress in order to get him to save us. Um, and yet that really takes away our power and doesn't leave us on that balanced equal footing of our potency and his potency. So it's a bit of a dance and I, so I don't want you to be a total victim and destroy your life or, or not take action in your own life, but simultaneously make room for him to win and say, you know, it would, you'd be my hero if, I just love it when you, you know, set him up to win this way to, to save you, but never ever lowering yourself to a damsel in distress, knowing full well at all times you can thrive. Um, and shine in your life. It's an interesting dance, but I know you'll know the feeling when you're empowered like a queen and receiving him saving you versus poor me, the victim, which is really just a sense of low self-esteem, yeah? Number three, um, kind of connected to the let them know when you're happy, men so thrive on praise. They so thrive on our kindness. You know, a lot of the male clients that I have, oh, you know, obviously they're very into us when we're sexy and sensual and all the rest of it, but so many of them say, and it sounds kind of corny, but they're like, I just want somebody nice. And for us, we often get perturbed when he's just the nice guy and doesn't claim us that way. And yet for men, their hearts are so tender that if we're not nice and kind and won't appreciate and praise them for what they've done right they might you might be sexier than the other ladies or more successful than the other ladies or or have a better body than the other ladies but if you're not willing to be nice if you're not willing to praise him and appreciate him and let him know what a difference he makes he's gonna go for the other one and sometimes as women for us to be nice when he forgot to take out the trash or for us to appreciate him and praise him when we're frustrated with him for some other reason we tend to withhold our kindness and our praise or withhold sex um, as a way of thinking that'll get us even but it actually pushes him farther away so do your inner work talk to your girlfriends talk to a coach like me talk to someone to get rid of the frustrations that are valid but that are in the way and just be you know just clean slate be nice be kind praise. Let him see how happy it makes you. Certainly let him um, see in your body movement that it makes you happy as well because he can read more than just your words. He can read your energy. He can read uh, your body. Okay, I just have to tell you this huge swan just flew across this water thing and just landed. I mean, of course swans fly, but I've never seen a swan fly. They're big. They're beautiful. All right, so um, moving on. Number four. Mm. I'm really bad about this one, saying too much, saying too much too fast. I'm a talker and so I'll go on and on and he won't say anything so I'll think he didn't get it so I'll just say more and then he doesn't say anything so I say more. Okay, he tuned me out like five minutes ago. So keep it short, keep it clear, keep it simple. 
and it's not like you just have to have code language. I mean, obviously be yourself. However, if you have a real need for a lot of verbosity, you know, call your girlfriend. Don't put a lot of pressure on him to have to be the one that can take in all of those words because they are just different than us. Not better, not worse, just different. So not so many words and just see if, you know, less quality over quantity. And number five is kind of connected to this one. You know how men are simple and we're complicated? I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but sometimes I've made the mistake of judging them because they're more simple creatures and we're more complex creatures that they're somehow stupid or dumb, which is the farthest thing from the truth. So another mistake sometimes we women can make is because they are a simpler creature, we think they are somehow less intelligent uh, than us and that judgment can be felt and men's hearts, I can't tell you how many of my clients come to me because their hearts are emasculated. They've been hurt by something that we never even thought would... Okay, more swans flying. Okay, big! They're big birds! Holy crap! Okay, maybe it'll come right, right by us. Okay, can... Oh, I wish I could just take the camera. Okay, large. Wow. Wow. Okay, sometimes nature just moves me. Okay, so back to the power of our words. Um, when we say something slightly cutting or our eyes kind of like ugh, diss them, those small things that we have no idea are so powerful are like daggers in their heart. And these men's beautiful, tender hearts get hurt way more easily than we think. So I ask you to be aware and not make the mistake of thinking he's dumb just because he's simple because he's not. He's totally smart. He's just very clear and aligned. And we're you know, a lot more complicated. And also watch your words. If you ever have a frustration, take a beat, take a breath, and just get right down to where your needs aren't being met or where you're hurt. Be vulnerable, share where your desires aren't being met rather than cut into him, because that's only going to push him farther away and destroy the very intimacy that you'd like to have. And if you've got your own set of wounds from before, from dad, from the ex-husband, it's not his job to make it better. It's our job as women to heal and do our own work and come into the relationship in the present moment, fresh and open to what's possible with this great man that is giving you attention and affection and adoration. And just from that place of fullness, you know, from the overflow, pour it into his life and see how that gets reciprocated back to you. So Alana Pratt, you can find out more about me at my website, alanapratt.com and every Oh, about three weeks or so when I do another video for you here on Digital Romance TV. All my love.